Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video I'm going to try to answer the question, what is the difference between a semi and fully automatic espresso machine? The answers I'm about to provide come from coffeemakerscritic.com, so be sure to pay the site a visit to find out more about the various ways of brewing, percolating and consuming coffee. Below this video you'll find links to the best-selling machines of each type on Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk. With that said, let's answer the question. There are several kinds of espresso machines out there, manual, semi-automatic, automatic and super-automatic. A manual espresso machine, also known as a piston machine, is the genuine article in the espresso world. Dating back to bygone days of coffee making, these machines are piston driven. To create the pressure needed to pull a shot, the barista has to manually pump a lever. Specialist skill goes into pulling the perfect shot as the operation requires focus and precision. Once you master the operation of a manual coffee machine, you'll have maximum control over your brew. That said, if you want to knock back a couple of espressos on your way out of the door in the mornings, you're certainly not going to have time to fuss with a manual machine. Semi-automatic espresso machines require you to manually determine how much espresso you want in each cup, and they also require you to manually make your own foam. These tend to be the type that is more popular for home users. For many coffee aficionados, a semi-automatic coffee machine is the sweet spot between a manual and an automatic machine. Automatic espresso machines automatically dispense coffee and foam. You just press a button and walk away. However, you still need to put in coffee. Once you've ground and tamped your coffee beans, fully automatic machines produce your coffee at the push of a button. Super automatic espresso machines do quite literally everything for you. You just need to fill up the various reservoirs and the machine does the rest. A super automatic espresso machine will grind the coffee, create the foam, brew the coffee and dispense an exact shot of both coffee and foam. The downside of everything being done for you automatically is that you don't have much control over the end product. Not surprisingly, the semi-automatic machine sits between the two options, offering a happy medium in terms of control and convenience. Many semi-automatic coffee machines boast fully automatic capabilities, which is just what you need if you're the type of person who needs that first cup of coffee to get the brain cells firing in the morning. Which semi-automatic espresso maker you choose ultimately depends on your priorities and your budget. For example, if you're out the door early in the mornings and need a coffee pronto, you may enjoy a semi-automatic machine with a time-saving self-priming function. You'll also need to consider the space you want to dedicate to your coffee maker, and the effort you're willing to put into cleaning and maintenance. A semi-automatic machine offers the ideal compromise between manual control over every aspect of your coffee and the convenience of having the work done for you. That said, you're not losing much on either end. Unless your palate is extremely refined, you may not even taste the difference between an espresso made on a good quality semi-automatic machine and an espresso made on a traditional manual machine. On the other hand, a semi-automatic machine won't require you to do much work than a fully automatic coffee maker, so you won't sacrifice much in the convenience department. Many semi-automatic espresso machines offer most of the functionality of fully automatic machines, with a proviso that the pour does not stop automatically, so you'll need to stop it once you have the desired amount of coffee. Another benefit of semi-automatic espresso machines is that they tend to be available at a lower price point than some automatic options. This is because you're doing a bit of the work yourself, so the machine is less complex. That concludes this brief introduction to the world of espresso machines. I hope it's whetted your appetite for more coffee. Visit coffeemakerscritic.com for reviews of various machine types. Please give this video a like and share it with others who might be interested.
and subscribe to my channel for more videos on these and related topics.